Nanjing, a modern city located around the Yangtze River, is also an ancient city with a long history. Just as many other metropolises, Nanjing, as the capital city of Jiangsu, also have its own centre of the city, Xinjiakou. However, lies in the deep alley located just next to the biggest shopping malls, we found Mr. Wu selling the famous curbside food in his movable bicycle. Just next to Mr. Wu's magical bike, a coffee shop built in the most trending style was serving the customers with indie handmade coffee. This is the place where office workers like to spend their afternoon chit-chatting. Right next to the coffee shop stands the Taiwanese snacks restaurant. Though settled down, the shop owners still have problems, especially during the pandemic. When traditional curbside food were facing the problem of whether or not to settle down, a solution is already offered. Well, I think the first thing that strikes me maybe because I'm a historian, is just how historical Nanjing is. Da Pai Dang, a newly developed restaurant chain supplying famous Nanjing snacks, gives customers a chance to experience the old Nanjing while having the meal. Yeah, you know what I, what I actually like? I've lived in Nanjing, you know, off and on now for about 10 years, and the thing that I think I like the most are actually and it sort of impresses me the most are not actually just the museum places like the Rave House and, and the Nationalist Museum or the Presidential Palace. Those are impressive. But what really strikes me are the ways that like the, the old Nanjing Wall still has sections around places that are actually actively being used. The interior design of Da Pai Dang largely mirror the traditional urban planning of Nanjing. From the walls of the city, to the historical buildings like Jing High School. Nanjing the uh to sh 古古建筑以及现代建筑的结合是一个很好的典范就比如说我们在新街口走着走着会发现会有我们学校的钟楼是始建于一八八八年的同时呢在附近也有夫子庙是始建于更早时期的这种现代和古代的一个融合我觉得